Hi there, my name is Susan and I'm a counselor at Student Financial Services here at UVM. Our offices are in the Waterman building right across from the green and we are here to help you. We are in our offices from Monday through Friday from 10 to 430. You can swing in anytime. You do not need an appointment. You can contact us by phone. You can contact us by email. All of our contact details are on the last slide of this PowerPoint. I would like to take a moment to welcome you to campus. We really look forward to seeing you in January and we would like to congratulate you on your success so far. Um, the goal of this PowerPoint is to offer you some steps for success, some steps that you can take to ease your transition to campus in January. This is going to be a very broad overview of these steps, and we will offer you some further information on our website and on some subsequent videos on details on all of these steps. But we just want you to have an introduction to the billing and payment structures here at UVM and offer you some links and some tips to make this all a little bit easier. The five steps we are going to cover are your proxy access, accessing and finalizing your financial aid, your student health insurance decision and waiver form, payment and loan options, and direct deposit for any refund. The first and most important thing that we recommend that you do is to set up a proxy user to your account. Now, a proxy user is an adult in your life who is invested in your success here at UVM. This can be a parent, a grandparent, an aunt or an uncle, an adult in your life who you trust and you, who you are comfortable working with, who can help you with your billing and payment details and information and just support you going forward. When you set up your proxy access in your My UVM student portal, it will look like this. You will set up the profile, that's step one, that is the person and the start and end date of their proxy access. And you can change this at any time. You can set it up now through your graduation date. You can update that access at any time. And then you wanna make sure you set up their authorization. And this is, a lot of people trip up on this. They set up the profile, but they don't set up the authorization. So please make sure you do that. That is giving them access to billing and payment information, deadlines, dates, and you can also offer them information to the financial aid that you have offered to you so they can see what you have and help you understand what you need. So this is an important step and um, you can set that up um, as soon as possible so that they are um, having access to your information before the bill information starts going out. Um, the second thing that is important that you understand is how to review your bill, respond to your bill, and understand your financial aid. Your spring semester bill is available in early December, and it is due by 4.30 on Friday, January 10th. So you want to make sure that you are understanding everything that you need to do prior to Friday, January 10th. You can estimate your bill with a link that we provide here that can help you if you are doing this well ahead of time with your loans or payment plans. Um, semester bills are subject to a $250 late fee each semester and a hold on your account. So to avoid all of that, you just want to make sure that you um, are getting started well ahead of time and have your all your ducks in a row. And we are here to help you. Your proxy can help you um, to understand it all and to put it all in place well ahead of that bill due date. You want to accept and complete any financial aid offers that are made to you. This can be accepting or declining loans. Federal loans will be on your MyUVM student portal in your financial aid offer. Federal work study, if you are eligible, will be offered to you in your MyUVM um, aid offer. If you accept your loans by December 1st, they will be listed as pending aid on your spring bill. That can be really helpful so that you understand um, what you have paid and what you still owe. Federal work study, that is something that's paid directly to the student for hours that they work. They get a biweekly paycheck and um, there's a jobs board where you can look for jobs, whether you have federal work study or not. You can see jobs on or around campus. 
An important thing I want you to keep in mind when you're in your MyUVM student portal looking at your financial aid is there may be a requirement or a verification question being asked that's asking you to provide some additional information to complete your financial aid offer. So please make sure you take care of that as soon as you see it. Um, it may be asking for a tax return. It may be asking for something else. Just make sure you provide that because that will hold up your financial aid from paying. A very important piece of the puzzle is to complete your student health insurance decision and waiver form, and you will do that every academic year. You have to do this whether or not you are taking um, a health insurance plan from home or whether you are taking the health insurance plan from UVM. Um, you need to provide that information or you will be charged for the UVM health insurance plan regardless of what your plans are. So take control of that situation now if you can. Um, as of February 15th, if you have not completed this waiver form, there will be a hold on your account and you will be charged for the UVM SHIP plan. So you want to... Um, Make sure you take a look at that. Make sure you understand what your health insurance is. Everyone is required to have health insurance at UVM. So take a moment to look into this. Um, speak to other adults or support people in your life and um, make a good decision on this. There's a little overview here of all of the payment options that are available. Students may use one of these, students may use a combination of all of these, but you want to understand outside scholarships, 529 plans if those apply, how to make online payments, how to set up a monthly payment plan. There are loan options. Um, federal student loans are offered to you in your account. Parent PLUS loans are available um, from student aid. There are private student loans that some people use. I'm giving you some mailing information here on this slide. If you are sending in outside scholarships, the funding sources should understand that those um, checks will come to us here in the Waterman Building in Burlington. If you are sending in personal payments by check or 529, um, you want to make sure those go to our lock box, the P.O. box in Williston, Vermont. Just make sure that you understand these options, work with us, let us know if you are making a, a payment and you're concerned about how it's coming in or how it's applied. Touch base with us, make sure that any paper payments reference your name, your UVM ID number, which is that 95 number. We won't know what your plan is unless you tell us. So well before the due date, if you have any concerns whatsoever, just be in touch and we are here to help. The final thing I'm going to recommend that you do right away is to set up a direct deposit that is linking your checking account to your MyUVM account. All payments that come into UVM will pay your direct build costs, your tuition, your fees, room and housing, um, charges, meal charges, if you're um, taking advantage of any of that. Any overpayment to your UVM account is returned to you as a refund, and that is intended for your books, for your supplies, potentially for your, um, your rent and your food if you're off campus. So in order to get your refund to you as quickly as possible, make sure that this direct deposit is set up with your bank account and your routing and number. Um, the only different... Um, refund option that can happen is parent plus loan refunds are sent to the parent borrower unless they authorize that refund to go to you through your direct deposit. So make sure your parent understands that when they apply for their parent plus loan, they can make that authorization to be mailed to you, the student, for your expenses. Again, I welcome you to UVM. This was just a high-flying overview of the billing and payment structure. We will offer you more information through videos and through our website, um, details on each of these components. Do not hesitate to ask us if you have any questions. Our address is here, our website, our phone number. Again, we're here from 10 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. We are here to help, and we are here to welcome you to campus in January. You can check this off your list of things to do, and we'll see you soon.